Listen. You threaten my kids or anybody that's a part of my family. Or you ain't even got to be my family. You threaten some kids if I'm in a store and they not doing nothing wrong. There will be a problem. An employee. What'd she say? She threatened to call the cops on innocent kids that was shopping in the store for no reason whatsoever. Now, obviously, we are in America, and you know, yeah, the race thing, that's always the first thing or whatever, you know? So, let's get into it right now. I mean, it was them. I just told them, you can grab your stuff and come purchase it here, or I can call the cops and you can leave. That's Wait a minute, man. let me tell you something. No, that's not it. That's if they have every right to come into the store and purchase what they want without being harassed by you, okay. why would you tell them, bring their stuff up here right now and purchase it or leave or you're going to call the cops? Why would you call the cops on children when they haven't done anything to you? They have every right. If they were white kids, you wouldn't do it. They have every right to come into the store and walk around and purchase what they want without harassment from you. Okay, no. No problem. You I'll need to apologize to I them. Apologize. Give me the number for your corporate office I because I will be reporting you. Do it. I don't know the number. You can search it up on logins.com. I'm sorry about that. Give me the number to your manager. Okay, I'll go find uh, well. I don't know who you think you are. They have every right to come into the store without you following them around or telling them anything. He said he just walked into the store and you walked up to them and said, leave the store or I'm going to call the police. Them. I was behind the No, he didn't walk. She was right there, but I didn't even grab anything. Yeah, no, that's why I was just letting you guys know. You can grab your stuff and come over. But why? Did they say anything to you? Did you see them do anything? No, ma'am. So then why are you bothering I'm, them? I'm solving, I'm trying to fix the situation. There is no situation. You just said it yourself. There was no situation. You created the situation that's right. by addressing them, and they didn't do anything to you. When you see kids come in the store, black kids, you don't just go and tell them, get your stuff, or I'm calling the cops. You have no right to call the cops on them. They did nothing wrong. They have every right. The American citizens, they have every right to come into the store when they get ready and purchase what they want without harassment from you. Mm -hmm. Now give me your manager's number. All right. I'll go get it. I will be reporting you. You don't need to be a manager. You know who you think you are. Ooh. Yeah, do that. Do Next that. time, follow white kids around. Leave these alone. Ooh. Hell, you think you are. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to that grandma right there. When you hear that voice, you know she ain't there to play no games. We need more grandmas like that to step up in the community and let these people know really where we coming from, the angle that we coming from, and let them know that we ain't playing no games. Grandmas, aunties, uncles, cousins, that's the energy that's needed. That's the energy that's going to stop these people in their tracks when they get out of line. Okay, these kids, they walk into the store. They ain't still nothing whatsoever. Nothing. They just going around shopping, and here she goes saying, I'm going to call the police. Y'all got to come to the front and leave. What? So, I do commend that young man for telling his grandma because when I was young, I wouldn't have told my parents nothing. I probably wouldn't have told my grandma none of that stuff. But, um, you know, when I was coming up, we didn't have conversations like that. We didn't have an open dialogue to where it was like, hey, if you go through something in a situation like this, don't be scared to come talk to me. And that's one thing about, you know, us breaking up the next generation we have to communicate to the kids to let them know like hey it is okay to come talk to me about certain situations because i am your father i am your protector so with that being said if you got any questions man listen just just please ask me ask me and i guide you i tell you what i expect of you or whatever the case may be and if it's a situation then we can handle it Okay, but at the end of the day, the lady at the Walgreens, she should be fired. I don't know if she's fired right now, but I'm pretty sure she is because she was totally out of hand in the way that she conducted that situation. Not only that, why was her name tag not showing? I mean, her name tag, let's let's go to it. Her name tag is on, 
but it's backwards. Like, shouldn't shouldn't you have like some type of name tag like up there, like on your chest or something like that? You supposed to have your name, right? What's your name? I need to know your name first and foremost. And it looked like your 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 badge or whatever this is right here. Yeah, it looked like it's backwards. You knew you was about to be recorded. You knew you was about to be put on front street. You knew that, but. At the end of the day, yeah, you put your job in jeopardy, which isn't a big deal. I mean, it's a Walgreens. You know, you get, you'll get another job. But now you're the face of racism, supposedly. Because, yes, this was a form of racial profiling in my eyes. I don't know how y'all feel about the situation, but in my eyes, yeah, that was a form of racism. Racial profiling. Okay, don't assume that every black person that you see is gonna steal something. Now, me growing up, not even growing up, well, me walking through areas with a lot of white people, I do, unfortunately, you know, I do see people clutching their purses and stuff. And, you know, I look at them and I smile and I laugh or whatever the case may be. But it's like, and, and I don't want to make this a race thing, but we're going to dive into it since we are here. But the thing that I see, me as a person, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen, okay? I don't do nothing out the way. So when I'm walking around, I'm living my life, okay? And you clutching your purse? Like, you locking your door, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Why? I mean, I, I know that they depict black people on television as being like the, the worst people in the world or whatever the case may be. And whatever y'all conversations y'all have in y'all household will make us seem like we're even worse than what we are. We not bad people. Majority of us, we are not bad people. We are some great, loving people folks that just love to cook and have a good time and we just we love to live life you can't just go around here you know what i'm saying just thinking that everybody's gonna steal because one thing about it is i worked at rite aid before and you want to know one thing that i noticed at rite aid come here come here yeah black people will steal yeah black people will steal but you wanna know who was really stealing? The white old people. Yes, the old white people were stealing. They was like 50 years old, 55, 60 years old. And most of them was ladies too. They would go in there with a dress on, put it up under the dress. Listen, it was a lady, she walked out, she, she almost had $300 worth of stuff. Did I stop her? Nope, that ain't in my job, I'm not. Have a good day, ma'am. I ain't stopping you. Loss prevention, y'all better go and stop her. Because that ain't my, I don't get paid enough for that. You know, when I, you know, listen, when I worked at a job, I knew my job description and I stuck with it. Okay? I'm not about to go out there. Listen, I'm if I'm, I'm, wor if I'm working at the cash register, that's where I'm working at. Don't expect me to be super safe, uh, you know what I'm saying? Super saver, right? A no, nah, that's this ain't my. I don't own this store. And then if, if they stole something, then it's insured. But you know what? That's another topic for another day. At the end of the day, that lady gotta go. That's number one. Number two, should Walgreens be sued? I mean, in this day and age, people suing for any reason. So yeah, go ahead and sue them. I mean, shoot, they deserve every penny. Those kids shouldn't have went through that situation at all. And that's what it is. So I'll holla at y'all on the next one. Let me know what y'all think about this video. I'm dropping consistency. We out here. It's your boy, Jay. If you got any content that you want me to review, just send it to my Instagram. Send it to my TikTok. DM me. Y'all know what time it is. I'll holla at y'all on the next one.